What's going on, my people? Aaron back up here. Back at it again with another reaction, man. And before we start the video, man, I'm going to need you to go ahead and hit that goddamn red button at the bottom of the screen, the subscribe button, and leave a like on your way out, and even comment on your way out either, man. But today, we're going to get right into it, man. Today, we're going to Dealer Gaming on Twitch. Now, I'm also, I'm actually uh, following, uh, I actually follow Dealer on Twitch as well, as long as, uh, as, long as a plethora of every, every, every other streamer on Twitch that I watch, man, and have yet to see pseudo amounts. I've, I've actually watched a couple compilations of Dealer. Uh, I haven't seen school, uh, Hooli that much, and uh, the next video is going to be Dr. Disrespect. Uh, shout out to him. Uh, favorite stream, My favorite streamer right now is Dr. Disrespect, uh, even though I made a video about him saying that, you know, he wanted a Halo... He wanted, he wanted Halo Infinite to have a BR game. And I'm like, eh, yeah, nah, that's, nah, nah, nah. Nah, 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 Halo Infinite doesn't need no damn BR. I'm done with BRs, man. Apex, Fortnite, and Warzone have it locked down. Keep it like that. We don't need any other BR. A matter of fact, Hyperscape, that generic-ass BR that Ubisoft had, uh, they, they announced that they're shutting that one down, I think, earlier today. They said they're shutting it down, so the server's going to be dead because nobody's playing it. So, yeah, if anybody wants to get into the uh, Battle Royale genre, it's pretty much a done deal right now. I mean, who's ever locked it down has locked it down. Apex, Fortnite, and Warzone, they pretty much got it. So, nobody try to make another BR game. Please, nobody. Nobody. Enough of the BR games. But let's get right into it, man. Dealer Gaming. You got the Eva 8. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't try that with the Eva 8. Eva 8. Never try that. <laughs> he thought he died. He thought he died. <laughs> That's one thing I noticed about him. He loves using the EV-8, man, but personally, people don't like using the Peacekeeper because it's too inconsistent, but I love using that weapon, man. I mean, that's my baby. Uh, but he plays on PC, though, so Peacekeeper's pretty much useless on PC, from what I've heard. But the EV-8, uh, I heard his... EV-8 is actually good, a good-ass weapon, but when you're trying to engage multiple enemies, I, I just use it as a, finish, a finishing-off weapon. I don't use it as a main weapon. Oh, the wingman. I love the wingman. Aim down sights. Fucking uninstalling. <laughs> I don't fucking understand this game anymore, man. I don't fucking get it. Fuck. <laughs> nice locked screen, Deli. Hey, Panic Allow underscore MX says. I thought it was Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> the, it's what's for the it crashed. Have the rich we prefer to do more with less. It's not just a remark on resourcefulness, it's a call to maximize your life by minimizing what you bring along. Because you don't need everything to be prepared for anything. Exactly. The is long. Exactly, Rich Wallet. <laughs> Slim, compact, absolutely amazing, stylish, minimalistic, modern. Look at that, you put your stuff right in there and boom, it slams on it. it there's no way to get it out. Unless you try, it's incredible. If you're like I was, you're probably so wallet. an old bulky wallet that might not even secure all of your stuff. The rich wallet comes in different, strong materials like carbon fiber and titanium. 
This wallet will keep your belongings safe, secure, and is so strong it is backed by a lifetime guarantee. So I don't know about all that. You can take a look at one of their 30,000 five-star reviews or ask one of the 500,000 people who use Ridge wallets today. Ridge is so confident in their product, they will give you a 45-day trial run with a full refund if you don't like it. They have tons of different colors to choose from. If all of this wasn't enough, they also have things like backpacks, duffel bags, a phone charging cord, a phone protector, and even knives. So if the wallet isn't good enough to protect your belongings, you can. So if you're going to make the smart move and switch to a Ridge wallet, head on over to ridge.com slash Deller and use code Deller. I ain't going to lie. Like, uh, when I see stuff like this, especially when uh, a lot of streamers be sponsored by stuff like this, I kind of think to myself, some of it's legit, some of it... Like, if I ever get that big to the point where I get sponsorships, um, I wouldn't do anything. I don't know if I want to do anything that's completely, like, I don't like advertising for stuff I don't use. So, it's just like, uh, I think Eminem said this one time in one of his commercials when he was doing Brisk. Like, he gets asked to do commercials all the time, but he said, once I try to product products that I always hate them, so I just don't uh, advertise for them. So... Like I said, man, if you see a sponsor on my channel, it's because I actually use the product. I mean, I hope one day to get sponsored. <laughs> if I ever become that big, I, if I ever do, it, I don't know if it's going to happen or not. But uh, it's just like, I would probably get sponsored by a product that I actually find useful and I use. So maybe uh, body armor or, you know, I don't drink G Fuel. Uh, something that is a product that I'll use. Uh, wallets and stuff like that. Uh I don't know. I wouldn't. Uh, I'm not too big on wallets. I just, if, as long as it holds all my stuff, I'm cool with it. <laughs> For 10% off and free worldwide shipping. <clears throat> I love seeing that. You the new clear kill leader. I love seeing that on my screen. I love it. Damn. <laughs> he came from the G <laughs> That's my bike, punk. He gave me the Debo on Friday. Spitfire. If I don't have to hop up for the Havoc, I don't use it. There you go. B2020. <laughs> he gave me, yeah, that's the game, man. That's the. <laughs> no, that's not an excuse, dude. It's not you. That's. Fuck you, man. That'll always be funny to me. <laughs> I swear to God, man. A situation like that will always be funny to me, man. When when you get killed, when you get killed by, by when you get killed by, by the animations within the map. <laughs> when you get killed by that, man, I would I will forever crack up, even when it happens to me. <laughs> it's just it's the funniest thing of all time, especially when you're distracted. <laughs> oh. That is the funniest thing ever. Bye. Have fun fucking partying on your computer with your friends and your fucking e friends instead of fucking doing what you're fucking signed up to do, man. You don't want to mod, then fucking don't, and I'll demod you. Fucking Christ. <laughs> you getting mad at the modders. Flat <laughs> line. The flat line on single shot is mad nasty. <laughs> fucking game, man. This fucking game. The Spitfire, or not the Spitfire, the uh, the flat line, you put that on a single shot, man, that does, 
It does work. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Got death protection. That's why I love using Revenant. That's why I love using Revenant. He's my main. Yo, he leaves before he even dies. <laughs> like I get, like he's been playing Apex for God knows how long. He probably knows situations now to where it's the point where it's like, yeah, the situation is unwinnable, so I'm gonna just back out, you know. But for my, for my person, for my uh, mentality is, I gotta finish the fight until I get knocked and my team gets wiped. So either that man, but <laughs> he be tripping, he be leaving. I've seen him do it so many times. He'll leave matches to where he, he won't even finish it because he gets so mad. <laughs> I hate that shit. That's in any video game. If you're a medic in Battlefield, if you're a lifeline in uh, Apex, or if you're a healer in, in Overwatch or whatever, whatever games you play, man, please do your damn job. Healers heal. If you're an assault, put down the packet. If you're if you're heavy, if you're a sniper, lend support. It's just simple. I mean, we just people just ask for the basic stuff. I just ask people to do the basic things that you pick your character for. Just do it. <laughs> he almost got it, though. <laughs> he almost got it. Yeah, those punches are deceiving. He's gonna go down. <laughs> Can I get a fucking slide, man? Can someone fucking mute this? Holy <laughs> shit. I don't understand why Twitch streamers use text to, uh, chat to text or whatever. It's just, it's annoying. Like, I just turn it off and just read it. Once I'm done with the match, I just read the web messages. I mean, uh, I'm not that petty, but it's just, you know, I won't just skip. Like, if you message me, and if, I, if I'm streaming and you message me, I'm like, I'll read it right then and there. Or I'll, I'll read it after I'm done. If I'm busy, I'll read it after I'm done doing whatever I'm doing, you know, after the match or whatever. I just look out and be like, hey, thank you for the 10 bucks. Thank you for the comment. Or I'll read the comment out loud if it's not... Anything, you know, if, if, if you ain't on some bullshit, I read it out loud. But either way, man, yeah, text to chat or text to speech, whatever you call it. Uh, yeah, I would never put that on. Holy shit. Unfucking <laughs> believable. Unfucking believable, dude. It's what's for dinner. Holy shit. R99 is my baby too. I love the R99. R99, Flatline, Peacekeeper. What the? What the hell was that? Fuck, I can't play this fucking dog shit anymore. Fuck this fucking was that, game. Was that a hitch? Actually, fuck this fucking game. Actually, fuck this game. <laughs> they actually traded. That's rarely happened to me. <laughs> that rarely happens to me. I never trade. In Apex, I never do. There was actually a problem when the game first came out about hitboxes, man. Uh, Rafe, you could not hit her to save your life. It was like shooting at a damn twig. Uh, if you're a caustic or a Gibraltar, good luck because you're just a, you're just an open target right there, especially for the snipers. Uh, but yeah, um, hip fire in Apex Legends would take some 
I admire anybody who actually hit fires on Apex. Uh, I do it casually when I know the guy's weak, but if you do it on a regular basis to just fire, I, my hat's off to you because the hitboxes just don't support hip firing. It's, they just don't. I mean, it's just it's so hard to hit somebody to begin with. So it's hard not to ADS at all, especially when you're close range, unless you're up to their face, and then you can hit. Hey, that eight, bit, that eight, bit, that eight bit overlay. I love it. <laughs> Damn. Just find you in the game myself, lol. Didn't even see him. Damn. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, after a certain uh after a certain hour or so, you just can't play Apex, man, because I think everybody everybody who plays casually just goes to sleep after like nine or like after like ten o'clock. Good luck trying to find a match that ain't you ain't got a pop of blood vessel in and that just ain't sweaty. Because it's just ridiculous. I mean, the game's good, but it's like, damn, y'all. I mean, it ain't that serious, especially in a, especially in the casual rank modes. It's just like, damn. It's like, what the hell? Like, it don't it? You don't even be taking the game that seriously. It's just ridiculous, man. But, man, dealer gaming. Subscribe to him on Twitch. Uh, subscribe to him on Twitch. Funny as hell, man. The dude knows. <laughs> he knows. When he gets mad, he gets mad, man. He just, he got a good desk, too. He, it ain't like a Hooli's, man. Hooli's desk, man. I just, I, Hooli be hitting this desk so hard. Like, nowhere on the level of a uh, dealer. But, man, let me tell you something. <laughs> Hooli be going off. And dealer just is like, man, fuck this shit. That's, that's his mentality. But let me know what y'all think, man. Sign off in the comment section. I'll see y'all, man. I'm out. Peace.